Hi, welcome to this tutorial on calculating the moment of a force. This is uh, Texas A&M and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to calculate uh, this kind of thing. We are going to do several examples. Some of it you've already seen. So we are going to do the, uh, the examples one by one. So first thing is what's a moment? It tells you a, a quick idea of what's, what's a moment and so on. So I don't want to waste too much time about this. So let's go directly to uh, you know um, to calculating this moment because we talked about the rest of the stuff earlier so the essential idea is that given a force f acting at a point p here is the force here is the point p find the moment of the force about the point o so first thing you do is you draw a line parallel to the to, through the force then next you draw a line parallel to the force through the origin and then use trigonometry to find uh, the gap and uh, in this particular case you will see that the gap equals uh, r sin alpha you can see that this length is r and this angle is alpha then this gap will be r sin alpha so you got to use a little bit of trigonometry to find it okay so the thing is if the force tends to turn the point clockwise counterclockwise it's positive and if the force tends to turn the point counter i mean sorry clockwise it's negative so if it's like this, it's negative. If it's like that, it's positive. You have to play around with it a little bit to figure it out. Okay. So now let's look at a few worked out examples. So first example, find the moment of the point of the 20 Newton and the 40 Newton force about the point H. So what do I do? Let's look at the 20 Newton force first. So first thing to do is draw the line of action through the 20 newton, newton force and a parallel line through h then next thing is to find the gap width between them so in this particular case it's 7 uh, everything is in meters and the force is in newton 7 meters so the magnitude of the moment is 7 times gap distance uh, si i mean 7 times force sine 90 degrees because the force is at 90 degrees so i get 140 newton meters remember this only magnitude if I want to calculate the direction, I got to say that if I apply the force like this, it's going to tend to rotate the object like that, which is clockwise. So the answer is negative. So minus 140 Newton meters. Okay. So the unit for uh, moment is Newton meters. Remember that. Okay. So we saw that first. Let's do the second one. Same steps. Notice I draw a line through that and draw a parallel line through H. And now I have to figure out what is this gap distance. There, I draw the triangle and I have to figure out that gap length. So that length is 14. This, so this will be 14 sine 40 degrees. It's 8.99 meters. And then, so the magnitude is 14 sine 40 times 40, which turns out to be 359.96 Newton meters. And then I have to figure out the sine. In this particular case, it will tend to rotate it clockwise. And so we counterclockwise. So the sine is positive. Let's look at another example. So first let's look at the 10 Newton force. I draw parallel, find the gap distance, which is 2 cos 10 degrees. Can you see this sl the slope is 2 and so this, this width is 2 cos 10. So and then I can calculate the, uh, the magnitude is 19.69 and the direction is clockwise so it's negative. Okay, let's look at the next one. Same deal. Draw a line. You know, you know the drill now, right? So draw the line, draw a parallel line. The gap width is 4 meters. Now it's pretty easy. So this has to be always be a right angle. Remember that, okay? And so the magnitude is 140 Newton meters and the sense is counterclockwise. Okay, let's look at these two. So draw a line parallel. I'm showing you a bunch of them so that you can see how we do this every time right so this distance again I have to do a little bit of trigonometry to find it so notice it's 40 degrees so we do that and then we find we find this one 190 right Newton meters so do you think it's clockwise or counterclockwise is it obvious to you that for the 30 Newton force it's clockwise so I have to calculate this uh, as clockwise force 
and so it will be negative. So how come I got 114? You see what I mean? 3.83 times 30 will give you 114. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Draw a line parallel. Right? And you have to find out how much is this angle. You can see all this similar triangle business. So per two parallel lines and this line is there. So you have to be able to calculate that. So that's about 10 degrees. So that's D is 10 sine 30 degrees if you want to do it that way. So you can find that and then you can find the magnitude is 5 times 20 which is 100 Newton meters and the direction is counterclockwise. Okay. There is no magic formula but there is a standard geometrical procedure. So next thing we are going to do is to do the same kind of problem with Cartesian coordinates. The idea behind the Cartesian coordinate system procedure is to fix and at attach an axis to the pivot the place where you want to take moments and then you do uh, you calculate the x and y components of the force fx fy and then you actually find the coordinates of the point of action can you see x y and then to compute it it's pretty easy it's x times fy minus y times fx can you see this times this minus that so how is this the same so notice what we are trying to do is we are just going to apply our usual geometrical procedure to the components. For example, if you look at the fx component, you can see the gap distance is y for fx, so it is y times fx and it is going clockwise around this point. So it is going to turn it around like that. Okay. The other one will be x times fy. So you can see x times fy and that is going counterclockwise, that is all we are doing. So x f y minus y f x. So it gives us both magnitude and sign. There is no issue. Okay. So let's look at this particular problem. So if you want to do that, uh, first step now is draw our axis at the pivot. Second step is find the components of the x and y. F y is minus twenty. F x is zero. And then find the location. X is seven. Y is zero. That's this point. And so we are done. Now just do y f x minus f x y will give you minus 140 Newton meters, which is the same as before. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Draw our axis through the pivot. Okay. Now remember the royal root. If I measure everything from the positive x axis, I'm going to measure this angle as 140 uh, degrees and not 40 degrees. That way I don't have to figure out whether it's positive or negative. Can you see f x is 40 cos 140, which is minus 30. Fy is 40 sin 140 which is 225.17. Okay, and then you can apply and you can do this. There are similarly there are a whole bunch of other problems in this. I will give you this uh, flash media um, on uh, Camtasia so you can go and see exactly how this is done for every case. Thank you very much.